the next step is to pin everything down. Because if you, if you pin everything down and then you get it checked off, then if something's wrong, then you're going to have to unpin it all. And it's going to be a big waste of time. Okay, so I'm just sticking pins in. Now notice when you put the pin in, you put it down and then back up. That's going to hold it so it's really secure. If you just stick it down, when I go to lift it up, it's going to come up. Okay, so make sure that you pin, especially in the corners. And then if it's a big pattern, you can put more pins in to hold it down, but especially pin the edges that are going to pop up and it'll be easy for the scissors to slip underneath. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just cut it out. And I want you to notice the position of my hand. Notice how my hand is on the out, like the pattern is on the outside of my hand. If you make a mistake, you're more likely to make a mistake bending this way because that's the natural bend of your hand. But if you bend, like if, if I cut this way, I'm more likely to cut into it and cut it wrong than if I'm cutting on the outside of my hand. So just a little... I'm not going to grade you on how you're cutting, but it's just a little tidbit of information that could help you. Notice how the pocket is, like it's not cut here. This is a full sheet. You only fold it here. Don't, don't fold it here. Um, sometimes people get confused by that because when you look at the bag that's up there, the pocket is only half the size, but we're going to end up folding, we're going to end up folding this in half after we cut it out. So don't cut it right here. It's going to be the full size of the paper. You're going to have one layer for the pocket of the Star Wars fabric and two layers of the bag for the backpack. Okay. okay, so in the box there are several colors. I have yellow, red, white, and blue. And these, my pencils are the ones with the little orange things on them. So if you have an orange tip on it, that'll just remind you that you need to put it back in the box. And you can use whatever color will match your fabric best. So I'm gonna look at my black fabric. And I'm gonna go, hmm, which color? Probably yellow or white. And usually I like the way yellow shows up better than those white ones, so I'm gonna use yellow. Okay, I'm gonna take these pins out now. Okay, this line is what I'm gonna be marking, but that line is not exact. So you're just gonna go get one of the grid rulers. I have a bunch of grid rulers over there, but under it, see where it says sewing machine anatomy? Um, there's a whole bunch of rulers right in front of the sewing machine part there. And you can grab a sewing machine ruler. Okay. So the measurement for the small, this is the eight and a half by 11 backpack. Um, for the small one, it's an inch and a quarter. And if I'm doing the bigger one, that's 11 by 14, it's one and a half inches on the top edge. So I'm gonna measure it down an inch and a quarter right here. Okay. And if your edge is cut too crooked, you're gonna wanna straighten that out. Mine's a little crooked, but not too bad. So I'm just gonna leave it like it is. I'm just going to mark that. Make sure it's on the wrong side when you mark it. So notice this, this block is a square, and then that's a quarter inch. If it was the half inch, the half inch is this line right here. Okay. So just make sure it's marked on the wrong side of your fabric, because when you go to stitch, you, you need to be able to see that line, because you're going to match the top edge of the fabric to the line. And a lot of times patterns will say fold the line, but this pattern doesn't. You're gonna fold it to the line. Okay, that's, that's something a little different that I do with my patterns. Okay, so now I'm gonna just flip it over and I'm going to uh, mark the other side. Make sure you're marking the wrong side. If your fabric has a print, just make sure it's the back of the fabric that you're marking. 
Okay, and then so then I will have two pieces that look like this. Okay, see there's a yellow line at the top of each of those. 